Sayonara, Robocop. Clarence, this is what I think of that 70s show. I love the 80s strikes back. Dead or alive, you can get your Robocop hot toys, bow damage Robocop at sideshowcollectibles.com. Link is in the description. Oh, man, kids. It's time for you. Big kids, here's your big review of the Robocop 1987 Hot Toys Battle Damage version Robocop Movie Masterpiece 160 collectible figure. I want to thank Sideshow Collectibles for sending out this to review for you guys. You can buy this at their website. Link is in the description. Now this is the packaging for just the Battle Damage version. We are getting a two pack with the Alex Murphy, which I also plan to get. It says Hot Toys MMS 265 160 collectible figure. The sides of the box say Robocop uh, Battle Damage version on the side right there. Top and bottom of the box say Robocop Battle Damage version. The back here has the Omni Corp logo with the Robocop Battle Damage version. Bunch of warning labels. Warning, you don't want to choke on your Robocop because they are alive. You might end up dead. And then when you remove the figure, shake, 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 you have an insert that has the Omni Corp logo as well as the cast and crew that made this amazing figure. And the sides of the box is just this line design. When you remove the insert, there you can see Robocop with all his accessories. The only way this figure can stay out of trouble if you get him out of the box. That's and here we got the Robocop 1987 Hot Toys Battle Damage Robocop Movie Masterpiece 160 collectible figure. This is definitely an amazing piece, but definitely intended for the hardcore, hardcore Robocop fans. Let's take a closer look at it. Hot Toys truly did an amazing job bringing on the likeness to actor Peter Weller. He absolutely looks just like the unmasked Robocop and definitely looks like Weller. I absolutely love the detail like with his little shot in the head right there on the top. Detail especially in the back with all the blood. Oh, it just looks so freaking cool. Fans wanted from the original release of the 87 Robocop, so it's really nice that we finally got this unmasked. It's Cool. Even like the detail in his neck, it just looks so freaking cool. It just the different colors on there just look amazing. Now, unlike the other Robocop, this one doesn't have any die casts or sound features, but it doesn't take away how beautiful the battle damage and paint work is. Robocop has been through hell from battling Ed 209. Just look at all the different stains and bolt holes, and the battle damage on here is truly amazing. Like on his arms, just look so freaking cool. It's definitely. He's been through hell. The wires coming out of there, it just looks freaking gnarly, man. Oh, you can see more wires on the back of his right shoulder and just like all the different stains on him. He's, oh man, he definitely needs an upgrade. <laughs> of course, the diecast Robocop was all nice and glossy. This one looks like he's been through the dirt, especially his book. The amount of the different paint apps and detail is just phenomenal. Look at every little inch of this and just see so much detail is put in there. Hot Toys really outdid themselves in the paint work. So many different bullet holes, so many different leaks and the paint work, oh my god. He even has bullet holes in the back of his ankles and I really love the pivots that he has. It just looks so freaking cool. Just like the diecast Robocop, he does have a working leg holster. You wanna first bend his knee a little bit, then you wanna bring this out and then you can pull this out right here, actually pull out uh, his pistol. Just like the diecast, when you get two versions of the Breda 93R or the Auto 9, very nice. This is the plastic one. Just like the original, it says in the instructions to put the plastic one in the holster, but you can use the diecast one, which you, the diecast one is very nice. You know, the plastic one probably has a little bit better paint apps, and you can actually uh, cock this part back if you want to. And of course, you just want to slip this in here, place it out here, then you just close this around, and then, yep. Now, Robocop has tons of articulation. Now, his head can actually fully rotate. He has two uh, joints right here on the neck, so can go up that much, it can go down that much. They arms can fully rotate and go in and out that much but if you actually pull this out can go in and out that much more can go in and out that way too now he bends a little over 90 degrees he moves in and out of this part arm as well as in and out this way he also rotates at the wrist and goes in and out he has the individual finger joints three in each of the finger and two in the thumb now his upper ab can go forward and back and side to side that much but actually if you pull it out a little bit it can move left right a lot more as well as go forward and back quite a bit more. Now his legs do go forward and back that much and they only go in and out that much but you actually pull them out and they can go up quite a bit. They can now sit in that chair if you got that uh, wor a working docking station chair and they can go in and out that much and he does bend 
at 90 degrees at the knee. Uh, his ankles can pivot forward and back. This part also moves forward and back. He doesn't have any ankle pivot side to side, but he does have toe articulation forward and back. Now, if you have the die cast Robocop, these figures work together for interchangeable ability to make the best of the Robocop looks you desire. Now, you can actually remove the chest plate right here. It's just held together in magnets like the old Robocop. You even see where the speaker would have been if this had the sound effects. And the battle damage piece that came with the die cast Robocop, you can put on on here if you so choose to to make it slightly less bow damage if you want or you can also swap out heads to give the unhelmeted version to the more clean versions you just be very careful when you remove this with the head right there and you want to remove this one with the neck piece right. also make sure to remove this little black rubbery piece that you want to put in there now you can place this in here and you can place the robocop helmet head back on this one of course it looks better with the bow damage helmet too so let's put that one on there now you can do a fully bow damage robocop with helmet or the unmasked robocop with your clean die cast version this is a great option but like i said you need two different figures to do either look now robocop comes with quite a bit of accessories including a detailed instruction manual on how to do his articulation and how to put in his gun holster now besides his articulate hands he comes with a pair of fists and he comes with the hand with the data spike that's all bloody very cool detail i love the blood effect on it robocop comes with three jars of baby food that he used to target practice when he was trying to get his targeting system online it comes with little stickers for the baby food in case that you know you mess up on one but yeah they're really nice little jars i thought that was a fun little extra now the best accessory robocop comes with is the cobra assault cannon this is what he used to took out ed 209 this thing is massive holy crap the detail on here is just phenomenal and it does have working parts like the tripod. You can even pull this back if you want to. It's spring loaded. Love the little detail with the viewfinder a bit. Now you can actually get Robocop to hold this with two hands uh, even though he doesn't have any bicep articulation. It's just not going to be a full straight on headshot. And Robocop comes with this OCP stand that says Robocop right there with the adjustable cradle. I still got it. Targeting systems back online. Wait, now I have no food. Wow, I'm so hungry. Wow. Size comparison time. Now, Robocop stands at over 12 inches tall. You can see compared to the diecast Robocop and compared to the Tony Stark from Iron Man 2, as well as how much already is a Marvel Legends like Mark 43 Iron Man. Now, if you're a huge Robocop fan like me, this is an amazing piece. The amount of detail, the paint work is off the charts. And I absolutely love the Cobra Assault Cannon. The articulation on this guy is pretty amazing. With that being said, at $294.99, this will be a tough sell for the average Robocop fan. Whereas the Diecast one had Diecast and it had sound features and it had a lot of interchangeable pieces, this one is more made to work with that Diecast one. I feel like if you get the two pack with Alex Murphy or you already have the Diecast one, this is a great addition to that. As a standalone piece, it really only has one specific look and you don't have the helmet that Robocop is known for. It has a lot of great accessories and a lot of amazing paint apps but I would only recommend this to the hardcore Robocop fans and I definitely would recommend getting the two pack with Alex Murphy because I feel like there's a lot more bang for your buck. You're getting two figures at really great prices so I would definitely recommend the two pack over this one unless like I said you're a hardcore Robocop fan. And I want to thank Sideshow Collectibles for sending me out this to review. You can uh, buy this at their website. Link is in the description. Check out more on my website at seanlikeslong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Link's in the description. I'm Sean Long. Mary live long and love life. Please put down your weapons. You have 20 seconds to comply. Ed, I got something to show you. It will blow you away. <laughs> comply with that. You're dead, Ed. I'm Batman saying, if you want justice for America, then spend your Independence Day playing Batman Arkham Knight. How could you say that? You don't know what's best for America. They should be going out watching fireworks, having picnics.